now the instantaneous power dissipated in capacitor dissipated in capacitor we can write pc is equal to ivc what is i i sin or i m sin omega t plus pi by 2 vc is nothing but v m sin omega t therefore we can write i m v m sin omega t plus phi by 2 is cos omega t into sin omega t is equal to pc therefore i m v m cos omega t into sin omega t again we are multiplying with 2 2 cos omega t sin omega t dividing with the Therefore, we can write Pc is equal to Im Vm by 2 into 2 cos omega t sin omega t is nothing but sin 2 omega t. This is the expression for the instantaneous power dissipated in capacitor. But what is the power consumed or power supplied to a capacitor over a complete cycle we are going to find now. Now the average power consumption. Average power supplied to a capacitor over a complete cycle is equal to average value of PC is equal to Im Vm by 2 into average value of sine 2 omega t. Now, average value of power through C is equal to Im Vm by 2 into average value of sine theta is 0. Therefore, Pc is equal to 0. So here also like inductor, average power supplied to a capacitor over a complete cycle is 0 from this result. In inductor it is 0, in capacitor it is 0, but in case of resistors it is not 0. It has some particular positive magnitude. These are all the related things and the phasor diagrams of the resistors, capacitors and inductor. Now, we will see one problem based on the capacitive reactance. See this problem. The problem contains content like this. A 15 microfarad capacitor. The capacitance of the capacitor is 15 microfarad. Is connected to a 220 volts and 50 hertz source. Find the capacitive reactance and the current. RMS and peak both we should find out in the circuit. If the frequency is doubled what happens to the capacitive reactance and the current what are the contents we have capacitance is 15 microfarad 15 into 10 to the power of minus 6 farad voltage 220 frequency 50 hertz in some textbook frequency is denoted by like this also so we can use the standard symbols next these are the given values now we should find out the capacitive reactance what is the expression for the capacitive reactance xc is equal to 1 by omega c where xc is equal to 1 by omega is nothing but 2 pi f into c therefore 1 by 2 into pi is 3.14 frequency is 50 hertz Capacitance is 15 microfarad, therefore 15 into 10 power minus 6. This 10 power minus 6 goes up. Now, the answer of this solution is like this. Therefore, we will get Xc is equal to, after solution this one, 
to 12 ohms. This is the capacitive reactance. Okay, first bit was over. Second one, current RMS and peak. We should find out the RMS and peak. Now we are finding the IRMS. The formula is V by XC. V, VRMS voltage is 220 volts. XC is capacitive reactance. This means 212. Answer is 1.04 ampere. This is the RMS current. What is the peak current? I RMS into root 2. Already we got I RMS is 1.04, root 2 is 1.414. So when you solve this 1.414 into 1.04, we will get 1.47 amperes. This is I peak. Peak means positive scale to negative scale. The positive scale current value is 1.47. Same negative scale value you will get minus 1.47. That means the peak current oscillates between minus 1.47 to plus 1.47 by having the leading of pi by 2 with respect to the voltage. Up to here we have find out all the values but there is a condition was given in the problem. The condition of the problem is if the frequency is doubled what happens to the capacitive reactance and the current? See, frequency, Xc is capacitive reactance. The formula is 1 by 2 pi Fc. Here he is saying frequency is doubled. Means if frequency is doubled means F becomes 2F. Xc is inversely proportional to frequency. If F is doubled, Xc will become half. So, if F becomes double, capacitive reactance will become half or halved. It becomes half. So, that is the thing which will happen to the capacitive reactance. So, if frequency doubles, capacitive reactance becomes half of the original or halved. What about the current we got that i is equal to v by xc xc becomes half that means current will become twice so if xc is half these two are related therefore current will becomes double double of the original So, if frequency is doubled, capacitive reactance becomes half and current becomes double of the original. Now, we will see the phasor diagram solution. What is the meaning of phase diagram or phasor diagram which relates the phase difference between voltage through capacitor, voltage through inductor, voltage through resistors with respect to the current through the these three. So yesterday it means suppose Vi through resistor they are in phase. Means Vr, Ir. If you go to the inductor, I lacks by V. If you go to the capacitor, I leads by V. So, we are going to find out the solution for these three phase relations. For that purpose, we should use the graphical solution. What is the graphical solution? The diagram will be like this first. Just draw an axis.
first of all v r and i both are in the same direction i v r now it is vc this is vl v leads by i here and v lags by i here in the case of c i wrote uh, in terms of iv and the graph represents the relation between v and i what is the equivalent circuit of this one or equivalent diagram of this one it will be like this this is v and this is vr this is vc plus vl this gap is vcm minus vlm now it creates an triangular shape with respect to phi and we know that uh, v is equal to vr plus vc plus vl vm is equal to imr vc is equal to imxc vl is equal to imxl means voltage the total voltage of the circuit is equal to the sum of the voltages of the each and every electrical appliance means rcl lcr voltage through inductor plus voltage through capacitor plus voltage through resistor is equal to applied voltage this is in terms of the ohms law i have written now we are going to find out that v vrm square plus vcm plus vlm whole square vrm square plus vcm plus vlm whole square therefore v is equal to under root vrm square plus vcm minus vlm whole square what is this vrm vrm is equal to vm is equal to imr whole square plus vc is equal to imxc vlm is equal to im xl whole square so im we can take common we can write r square plus xc minus xl whole square is equal to v im is equal to v by r this is equal to the r and what is this r when compared to the all equipments in the circuit we are going to see now if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus